Hi, this is Savitri Wilder and today I'd like to show you how we can find lodging and restaurants on Google Map. I am at the Lake District in England and I have starred Windermere here. What I've starred here is actually the World of Beatrix Potter attraction because that's one place I'd like to go visit. And um, when I look for a lodging, I like to be near where I'd like to go, but I'm not a big fan of um, being in a town or a city. I'd rather be in a little bit of a remote area, but still within a good driving distance. So this is the area I'm going to look at around this hawk sheet. And um, what I'd like to do is type in bed and breakfast since it's what we prefer. And once you type that in, you see all these different lodging icons and you can click each one of them um, but like I said since I already want to be in this area I'll just focus on here so here's an option there and you can street street views and photos so let's just click on this and see what's around let's move around this way it looks like it's in the Small, there's a small road, really small road, and mostly hills, quite remote, I like that. So I'll save this. It has a website, phone number, I can find directions. Let's see how far it is from Windermere. Oops, not Windermere, Seattle, Washington. Let's do Windermere, UK. There we go, that's better. It's a 10 minute drive, very doable. So we'll stick to that for now. And then now we'll clear that and let's go type in a restaurant. Cause I'd like to see what kind of restaurants are available in the, in the area. Once I type that in, again, little icons would show up and you can zoom in to see better. And here's a restaurant icon there. Queen's Head, it's most likely a pub. There's, here we go, bar restaurant inside. I like that, 17th Century Inn. So we'll save that one also. Now let's go back to this um, bed and breakfast and let's check it out. So I'll click on the website. Nice photos. Let's look at the price all these discounts. Let's say that everything looks good, but you know, when you go back to Google, there's not really a whole lot of reviews on, or there's no review. So let's just copy and paste the name and let's open another tab and I'll just copy and paste or paste it in there and we'll see what comes up. Good reviews on booking.com. I like to look at TripAdvisor first and it looks like it has five stars, 24 reviews. That's good enough for me. Very, all great reviews, so most likely I'll stay there. Let's go back. I'll go back to the website and um, give them a jingle and hopefully they have room for me. So that's it. And before we go, let's go to um, London really quick. I'd like to show you a little something. Let's say you need to go to the embassy. And usually you need to be there in the morning. And uh, once you're done with the embassy, you want to go, let's say to the um, history museum or science museum plop that in. Let's reverse this since we want to go from the embassy to the science museum and we want to go by public transport. So once you click the little public transport icon you can see the different options. You can take the bus. Here's, a, here's one without. Oh, there's another option here actually and then you can also take the tube 
It doesn't look like it's very far, so let's see what the walking distance is. It's 1.7 mile, 33 minutes. It looks like a good walk through Hyde Park, so I might even do that also if the weather is good. So that's another way of using Google. You can click on this little public transport icon, which I use a lot, not just in London or England, but I use this um, outside of the country as long as I have Wi-Fi or I pay for data from my provider. Really handy tool. So that's it. Hope this little tutorial helps a little bit and happy traveling.